Hi friends, I'm often asked how to calculate debt to income ratios or specifically what are debt to income ratios. We are forced to operate within realm of debt to income ratios on mortgages. There's actually two different sets of debt to income ratios. There's a front end and a back end. Your front end is your house payment taxes and insurance, any homeowner association dues, basically your mortgage payment divided by your monthly gross income. Your back end ratio is what we're more heavily weighed upon which would be your house payment taxes insurance and any debt that you have divided by your monthly gross income we always work off of monthly gross income so that's before taxes so let's just say that you're a w-2 wage earner making fifty thousand dollars a year that's averaging roughly four thousand one hundred and sixty seven dollars a month uh, if we're going conventional we're going to be stuck to roughly a 45 percent debt to income ratio so we're going to take 4167 times 0.45 and that's going to give us roughly eighteen hundred seventy five dollars 1875 is what we're allowed to be able to use for your mortgage payment, your house payment, your taxes, the whole the whole deal, including any debt that you may have. So if you have debt, uh, let's just say that you have a car payment that's $300 a month. Now we're going to be down to 1575, so on and so forth. So that's the way in which you calculate your debt to income ratios. When we're looking at conventional, we're really stuck to around 45% right in that ballpark. When we're looking at FHA, VA, we're allowed to go really 50%, possibly even higher. And then really USDA is gonna be more stringent. That's gonna be 38%, maybe 41% if we're lucky. It's really a sliding scale there on, on debt to income ratios. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope that this made sense to you. If you have any questions about your debt to income ratios, please give us a call and please like our YouTube channel. Thanks, have an awesome day.